Okay, so this is our second game in our first CSL matchup against CSU Chico, their A team here. We're all about mid to high champ three, I think, so pretty pretty good. Pretty good showing overall. Uh, this is the second game, so we did lose the first two and then managed to reverse sweep and win three. Um, I picked this one, I think, because the first one, I mean, these two games were kind of bad, I think, all around. I mean, we didn't have the greatest rotation and stuff. But the first one, perhaps we were, you know, it's the first game. We weren't quite warmed up, whatever may may happen. So we're just going with this replay. we going to see, uh, see what might have been, what we could have done a little better. And um, so, as always, we got ballchasing.com here. I'll try to link this in the uh, video description if I remember. But it's kind of uh, interesting or useful to check this out because you can kind of see the whole rotation here from a bird's eye view. And um, probably just going to pay attention to just a couple of the highlights because I have looked over this and it's not incredibly interesting, but I think it's fairly even across most of the, across the two teams anyways. You can see I was trying to put in some work here with these four shots, two goals, two saves, but it's all about the assists, really. So we got more assists going on. And uh, I think the boost is interesting here, because you can see we were definitely using a lot more boost, and we had fewer average boosts the entire time. See, uh, not too much higher seconds with zero boost, but I think fairly significantly fewer seconds with 100. So that's definitely... Uh, Something you can see going across here. We picked up a lot of small pads, but it's fairly even. We weren't doing a whole lot of big boost stealing yet. I think that definitely came more into play for both teams towards the end of the uh, of the uh, best of five. But you can see, as always, I'm using the most boost, and I have the fairly low average boost amount, and the most seconds with zero, and the least with 100, because I'm pretty bad at uh, at using boost there. And you can see Fluffy's a lot more efficient than I am, certainly. And I use it just a lot while Supersonic, anyways, is just wasting boost. Because I'm just bad at that, you know? It's just something I can't help. Done it for so long. Can't help going fast, you know? Gotta go fast. And we can see the boost pickup heat maps here. I was picking up a lot of these boosts here. I picked that one up 12 times. I think we were just on defense a lot, but you could see kind of, I went for the side one a lot. I think Fluffy was probably on this side while I was over here or something. Fairly even in the back. Not a whole lot incredibly interesting, though, for that. And as far as positioning goes, I mean, it's fairly even, I think. It's not a whole lot that uh, really stands out too much. Just the problem is, you know... They had a lot more possession. We were sitting back on defense a lot more. So they were hammering it quite a lot. And uh, you can see that here in the ball possession. They had a lot more possession. It was in our side most of the time. You can see that here. Definitely rocking around our side a lot more. And we couldn't really quite get it out of the corner to help try to get anything going, I think. At least not in this left corner. And, uh... As far as movement goes, I think general speed, because I'm using all my boost going speedy, I was a little bit higher, but overall pretty even across everybody else, too. Uh, so, let's jump into the replay here. I think I'll probably primarily watch it from Chanu's perspective, so I probably have more notes. But I think I might try to either use the fly or go back to uh, go back to this here at the corresponding time to try to check out the positioning that might have happened. But here we go. First kickoff. Um, I think we were going... We weren't quite doing the uh, back left kickoffs yet. Or at least not at this point. So we have a wave dash kickoff that ends up going to the left here. And it kind of ends up going more towards the blue side. So that's why right here uh, Chanu goes for the back boost, and now at this point, I think at this point right here, it's already a little bit too far away, so I would say 
I would not go up for this ball. Because um, you're probably just going to... That's another um, situation where you might recognize you're going to get beat right here. He's already up in the air. So if you were going to go, you would have had to go sooner. But either way, I think it's probably not the greatest ball to go for. Because it is closer to their side. And so you can see how you're now way far up. Overcommitted, sort of. And it ended up kind of uh, uh, made it a little harder for us in the back here. Because now... With this, I have to go off of this wall, potentially. Well, let's see. So that's off the kickoff. Shinu flies that way. So now I'm kind of turning back quickly to try to figure out what I need to do. I expected this to be a little faster, so now... Or potentially that guy to go up or something. So now I have to go up. Can't really turn around and go straight, so I have to go off the wall, but it's kind of a floater here, so it's a little far. I can't get a whole lot of power from this position. And anywhere I hit, it's really just going to go end up going back towards them. So, I mean, I could have tried to maybe... Maybe the best situation might have been to try to catch it, go to the left, grab that boost, go up the wall, something like that. But I just ended up trying to get something on it. And unfortunately, it ended up kind of putting it out there in the middle. Fluffy. It's kind of screwed by this, in a sense. But basically, it gives them a free shot, but... Fluffy's in a good enough position where he could save something here, and I think it's really good to recognize that he needs to go for that rebound. Recognizing that it's not going to be on. Right here, and then saying, okay, well, I need to go for the rebound. I mean, potentially you could also recognize that the other guy's not going for it, because right here, you recognize, okay, it's not on. And then Soccer ACV back there, Turquoise guy, is going to be the one that's coming up next for it so if you don't go then that could really open up a shot for him but if here you recognize that maybe he's not going for it you could also maybe take the time and go you know instead of jumping up you could also take the time stay on the ground but that just gets dangerous you know if you're if you're trying to do that to uh, get the best hit you can on it assuming you have the time and the space when maybe they end up challenging anyways um, so it's just about reading so I think this is a good call here, going up for this rebound. And I think right here, uh, he's trying to pass it down to me. But if we look from my perspective here, after I get this hit, I end up just swinging around, trying to go back to see if maybe I can help if something, because Shinu's still pretty far up. See if I could help if something goes wrong here. Because maybe he misses that, I'm going to have to go for the save. So that's why I'm not sure how this uh, 50 is going to turn out, or this challenge or whatever. So by this time, it's a little too late for me to read this. I might have been able to go, but see how it's a little far. And it's just a, a tough thing to read. So at that point, I just ended up positioning out here. And uh, Fluffy ends up missing this hit here. So, well, I guess he gets the hit there on the, uh, the guy, the bump. So right here, I think he could have gone for maybe a pinch or... Might have had enough boost to be able to take it up the wall or something. Ended up missing that. Potential panic or something, but gets a little bit of a bump on that guy. So now we all kind of recognize this. So this is why I'm trying to maybe push in, potentially pinch it off of the uh, the wall. It's probably what I would try to do. But Rad comes in here and ends up pushing that one through. And, uh, whoops. Go to the old Chanu here. So I think this is a pretty good hit. We fairly well on defense here. Solid hit to a hitting it to a spot that's not um, occupied by an enemy team, which is a solid move. This is a bug, but that guy stole the boost there, so that's not real. Uh, and then Fluffy goes and ends up getting not the greatest challenge, but um, it ends up really kind of being. This ends up being the first kind of issue on defense here. Because I'm sort of seeing what Fluffy's going to do here. And when it ends up going bad, I'm like, okay, i got to get out of here. And I'm thinking about maybe going swinging around Y for that, that boost or something. But Shadu's also going there. So I end up kind of staying a little too far in the... Or a little too much in the middle, I guess. Because then right here, like this spot right here is really bad if you look at the positioning of my car. We take the fly cam. You can see, I mean, from Rad's perspective, I'm like in the middle, sideways, and Chinoo 
Shinu and I are not really coordinating well enough on what's going to happen here. So he has the opportunity to shoot it like left, right. So obviously this is a bad spot for me to be in. Uh, I'm just fumbling around with this right now. Okay, here we are. Um, so he ends up having an opportunity to shoot, but he doesn't really recognize it well enough, I think. So he doesn't get the greatest shot. And Shinu here, if I could stop screwing this up. Uh, yeah, it's a little miscommunication, I think, there. One of us needed to basically swing forward for the ball and challenge it direct, like directly on so that we would hit it forward so that we wouldn't have this sort of lack of pressure right here that allows Rad to have that shot. So that's why it was a little sketchy there. And um, so Rad ends up going but not getting the hit. So we can breathe easy here. Somewhat. Um, so then right here, let's see, so after this happens, this is kind of a tricky situation, I hate these kind of things because I don't have much boost, and I want to get the boost, but I also need to get the ball, and I know I have a little bit of time, I might even use my camera to look this way at this point, so that's why I try to grab the boost, if we look at the way that I, the pathing that I have here, so probably even use my camera right here which I can't do in the game but I would have moved my camera to the, to the left to see if I could uh, spot that guy see how much time I have but I try to grab this boost and then hit this ball such that it would be going outwards so I could try to you know take it up the wall but I missed here so it was really uh, not good for our team because I ended up just giving the ball straight to this dude and then Shinu was of course uh, I had no idea what was going on. Didn't expect that. Right, rightfully so, I think. Because I definitely should have hit that ball. So then at this point, there's nothing he can do anymore. Gets demoed. Um, Fluffy recognizes this fast enough, thankfully. So right here, really good hit. Try to stay fast on it. And I think right here is a really good, uh, really good idea. Taking the ball. He's, he took the boost from you. Taking the ball up the wall, but then right there, that hit ended up putting it just too far out. So I think that's kind of kind of one issue here that we've had in general is something like this where you can see from this perspective fairly well. You get the first hit, but then you don't have the second one. So now I'm waiting for something to happen. And then, uh, you know, now that you didn't get the second hit, we're stuck back on defense again. So I think at this point right there, that demo that you hear, Shinu got demoed. And I recognized that by looking up at the, at the, uh, the feed. So I knew that Shinu got demoed here, so I have that in my mind, that we're the only two, basically. So Shinu did get back up at this point, but right here, I'm not sure, I didn't, I can't see behind me, really. I don't have time to look, so I don't really know if Shinu is going to be in a good spot. He probably is not going to expect that to happen from Fluffy, potentially, and he might also be spawning at some, who knows. So either way, I, I knew in my head here that I probably just need to go up for this. So that's why I ended up kind of going up. So if we look from Shinu's perspective, uh, right here, he got demoed. And there was enough time where he ended up getting back up. And so he's kind of around this area. But he's a little far forward. So that's why I kind of... Basically, I just had it in my head that I knew Shinu might not be in the best uh, position to go for this ball from wherever he's at. So then right here, I went for this ball in kind of an awkward position here and then of course it would be helpful to look to the left to see where you know how close this guy's gonna be or to understand okay there's probably gonna be somebody challenging this so I think right here if you're gonna challenge this I would just go as fast as it possibly could right here just straight towards the ball but because that guy's gonna be coming in pretty quick I think there's not really a, not really much of a chance but if you look here I think Shinu's thinking, okay, I'm not paying attention necessarily to the fact that somebody might be coming up for it. So he's going for where the ball is going to be. Instead of thinking, okay, somebody's going to be challenging this. And then recognizing, alright, here he is. I need to go. I need to, like, challenge the ball here. Instead of flying this way for where the ball's going to bounce. 
but that's just kind of a you can see it I think probably better from my perspective you can see what happens here see I kind of understand here I see this guy's coming in I'm jumping off the wall to try to wave dash towards that boost potentially but I see this guy's coming in so like I'm not really gonna be able to do much that's why I end up just I can't really do a whole lot so turn back this way and it's not the greatest uh, I guess not the greatest uh, you know team play but Fluffy ends up recognizing that something's going wrong here. And so you can see there's just some of the sketchiness we kind of had there. Where, again, if we, I think, we look from Shanu's perspective, you know, now he's going for this ball. I think potentially turned the wrong way there. I think if he turned right and went around, you would have seen him coming at it from a better, better angle, which is why I ended up kind of missing that. So right here. I think recognizing that that's going to bounce a little bit farther, you would turn right, and then that way you'd be coming at it from a better angle so that you're not going this way from it. Um, so then, after this hit, I was just kind of there in case something happened, but also might have been a little confusing. Uh, we can see that here, so then I'm like, okay, you missed the ball, I need to try to keep control as much as I can, but I don't have a ton of boost, so I'm just... I think we're all just trying to do what we can here. I'm trying to pick up some pads, grab this boost, and then we finally manage to kind of break out. We get a nice little, nice little pass here. Nice pass. I think this is a solid hit, but I'm not going to be over there at this point. So let's see. I mean, I think right here you can recognize I'm not going to be there, but I think this is just at least a solid kind of a clear to keep the pressure off of us. So. A good hit, but I think the best hit would probably be either something that you could follow up yourself or something that I might be able to get somewhere that the other team's not going to have the greatest chance of uh, taking over. Then right here, I think this bounce, I see Fluffy might go for this, so I'm waiting for that, and then he doesn't. So then I also recognize that Shinu's going for the bump, and I think he said it too, which is good. I remember him saying that. Um, so I'm thinking, okay, here we go. We might have this bounce. Fluffy's not hitting it. Shinu's bumping. I'm going for the shot. Barely misses the bump, though. Would have been a great goal, I think. The boosts are, like, bugged now since that last update, so that might be kind of confusing. Um, let's see, then, I, yeah, so the thing is, this is the other scenario that we got into kind of a, a tough situation on, so I think I'm going to go back here and take a look at the positioning overall here so let's see here this is what happens we get that pass fluffy bangs it out that way so then this is where it bounces off the corner so you could see here Shinu is kind of going up far to go for the demo and we're sort of in the same spot so if we back this up just a little bit um, you could look at maybe Potentially Fluffy could have rotated out and been more here and let me go forward But he was looking for the uh, the quick hit which might have been good So I ended up going for the shot here and because it doesn't work out Oops, I missed the pause Because it doesn't work out you can see here our positioning is pretty bad Because now Shanu is committing forward for the bump and then Fluffy stayed up a little bit too far Which I think was the main problem here potentially So now and then now that I've hit it and this guy's hit the ball. They have a breakout, a breakaway really here. And we're all sort of rushing back. And then Shinu actually gets bumped, so he doesn't have this middle lane covered. He gets bumped backwards, and so that's what ends up leading to this spot where I'm kind of on the wall. Kind of an awkward way to challenge this. I might have been able to challenge it off of the wall to help Fluffy, but it's I'm probably not going to be able to do much. So that's why it ended up kind of being a bit of a vacuum of pressure here because I think Shanu would have been going this way to challenge, but he got bumped. So then because of that vacuum, it gave this dude a chance to shoot it, and he ended up getting a nice shot, which, I mean, it wasn't impossible to save, so I think Fluffy probably should have saved it, but the fact is that, of course, you know, we don't want to have those, we don't want to give them the opportunities to take those shots, right? So here's me. I didn't really see the Shinu got bumped, so I figured that he would be coming in right now to challenge it, but 
Now I realize that there's a, a gap in pressure and I can't really turn for it. So that's why if you look from Fluffy's perspective, you know, he's he's sitting back taking it wide and then see I mean right here. It's definitely savable. Something I would probably expect to save, but because it's a little bit unexpected, you know, I get that, uh, you know, maybe we weren't on, on form at this point. And of course, like I said, we really don't really want to be in the habit of giving them those opportunities to score, so that was really what happened with that, I think. And then right here, let's take a look at this kickoff again. Going for a full kickoff. I think he might have been going for that back left, so you can see the power of those back left kickoffs really helps, because now they have... They have the overall possession here, and they have boost. <clears throat> so, they have a good opportunity to start, like, right off the bat with that pressure on us. So that's what I think when we were doing those back-left kickoffs towards the uh, the middle games we, we, where we started to win, that was really beneficial for us because um, we were able to get that possession right off the bat, and we were able to kind of stop them from getting opportunities like this right away where we were just kind of on the back heel the entire time. And I think that really helped us a lot in those matches, and they ended up recognizing that and starting to go for them a lot more towards the end. So I think here, you know, we have more defensive rotation. Fluffy gets this hit. It's a little far forward to the other guy. So he's still like right here. I think it's good recognizing that he has to go up, but he gets bumped, so he can't really get the hit he wants. And so that's why it ends up kind of passing to the other team, almost. And then, uh, you know, I'm out here maybe looking for whatever he might hit, and Shanu went up forward, which I think might have been a little bit of a, a bad call, because then right here, you could see how Soccer ACB might have a shot here, so that's why I have to just dive for this because I'm hoping that he's not going to shoot it. If we look at it from his perspective, actually, he sees, all right, I got this ball. I might have this shot here, but Sergeant Pickle's going to end up rushing me. So that's why, I mean, he, it's a little fast, so he probably didn't expect it either. But that's why I ended up rushing, even though I probably wasn't going to be able to get the hit, is because if I just didn't do anything, it would probably give him the idea that he could shoot. So that's one of those situations where like, even though you're kind of the, the second man on defense, really, Shinu really should have, I think, been going back more, potentially, to be the third man back. If I'm, like, the second line of defense, I just need to rush this to try to cover as much of an angle as I can. Or at least try to get him to pop it up like that so he's not shooting it. And then right here, I think, uh, it's really well played. It ends up going back up to the rad. Fluffy ends up going up. I guess there's a double commit here. So... I guess it's maybe a communication thing, but I feel like traditionally you would think that Shinu would be going for this because he's off the wall, but I think because I'm on the left side and Shinu's going to be hitting it, if he's going to be hitting it off the wall, he's going to be hitting it towards that right side where I'm not. I think it makes sense for Fluffy to hit this here because he's looking for that pass. Because, I mean, Shinu could have been able to hit this, could have been able to get around it and hit it to the left, but it's not going to be as great of a hit, so I think that's why right there... I think this worked out well, and I think maybe Shinu, I mean, right here you're already both up, so it's not like you could just be like, oh, I'm going, and then the other person could just leave. But I think it ended up working out well. As long as Shinu, after the double commit, is able to get back into a decent position quickly, it's fine. So I think this is a really nice hit, and um, I used all my boost up here, so I'm just trying to get a couple pads, so I don't have much. And because, I mean, I think that's the things I really... Would have liked to rather have been on that right side so that Shinu could pass it to me over there. Let's use the fly. Because in this situation, if I had been over here, it would have been a lot nicer, I think. Because if Shinu could hit me over here, then I would have had an open net to shoot on. So this isn't the greatest spot for me to be in in general. But, you know, because right here, like, there is an open net. And I recognize that I probably have a shot opportunity here, but I can't really get around it. So I try my best to just get around it enough to get, you know, some sort of a hit over this turquoise fella here, and uh, try to follow it, but of course I didn't have enough boost because I used it all. So this is a nice hit, good follow here, and now this is a, a really nice 50 to get this over to me, 
mean, Fluffy's a little far forward in the, uh, you know, uh, ended up that way, but right here I recognize, okay, this is a really good opportunity. So I have a shot here. Fluffy might even potentially scare that guy or something. So if I can get a nice shot, like a high, hard shot, power shot, it would work out well. But in this case, I ended up not. I was trying actually to do that, but I'm not very great at it all the time. So I ended up not hitting it, not timing it just enough, right? So it ended up being like a slow shot. So that's why I was like, oh man, it's not a great shot because that guy's going to save it. But Fluffy ends up going for this really nice bump. So you can see there's the 50. He ends up going down here and then right here, recognizing I can bump this guy and just really well done. Slams this guy out of the way. And I think the first couple games or so, we did lose, but the uh, the goals that we were getting were mostly from like bump plays like that. So I think, I think we did that pretty well. And then right here I went for another back left kickoff here. So I started to do this probably. So you could see, I guess right here, didn't quite work out for us well enough because Shinu ended up not getting the greatest touch. But you could see, um, you could see how the back left kickoff. See, both guys going for boost. One could also potentially cheat up, which is typically what I would do. So just a side note here, I think, on the kickoffs. So this one, you've got a guy forward and two like this. And so this one, I guess you go for both boosts, you'd have to communicate here. But like if there's one forward like that, there's one here, and then like the last guy's back like this, um, typically what I do is, well, what I prefer is the back, whoever's back will end up kind of cheating up a little bit. And whoever's slightly forward like this will end up going for their boost on their side. So if I'm back like this, I'm always going to just sort of flip forward to cheat up. And if I'm forward here, I'm always going to go for the boost. So I prefer that. Um, some people also will have this person cheat up and the other, the back guy go for the boost. But I kind of like the back one because you can actually flip forward and grab these two pads without using any boost and just sort of you don't have to cheat up super hard but you can hover around here and it ends up being really nice especially uh, like you can go for the back left play where the ball ends up going back that way but if you have somebody that's covering this just in case and kind of in general you can hang out here in case something happens and then you can either move forward or you can swing around so you got options you know um, but you can see here Let's use the fly again. God damn it. Okay. Uh, here we go. Fly. Uh, so you can see both end up going for the boost. And the ball ends up going back here. So this is nice. I can rotate out around this way. And then Shinu could pass to Fluffy. But what ends up happening here instead is Shinu gets kind of a bad hit. And ends up sort of doubling down on it by going back here. You could leave it for Fluffy, which I think probably would have been better, but this also works if you want to take it back over this way, but then ends up kind of getting a weak. Let's see. Uh, let's watch Shinu here. So right off the kickoff, goes for the boost. And I think, by the way, in this kickoff where you're both back, you're both slightly forward, but you're right next to each other, I think it makes sense to both go for boost. So I think that's a good, good play. So right here, um, what I would try to do would be to probably just try to hit it right. Like just try to hit it straight towards Fluffy, which is probably what Shinu was trying to do here, I think. But just ended up getting kind of a weak hit, bad hit. So now, uh, definitely could have left it for Fluffy, but you'd have to just sort of maybe call it out or something. So then right here, ended up hitting it off the wall and then just getting the one hit. So let's see, right here, this one hit. So like, it's not the greatest touch to put it off the wall because in this spot, like you really want it to be higher so let's see yeah right here like it doesn't really go super high so now you're kind of low and so if you really want to get power on you have to go from the bottom up you know you have to kind of flip upwards to get the height on it to really get more power to get it out of there and so then right here like that one hop wasn't the greatest hit because I think if you're gonna go, if you're gonna be on the wall and you're gonna go for like a one hop or something, like a one tap would be potentially better if you're trying to pass it and not hit it very hard. But I think in this situation, what you're gonna want to do is try to hit it as hard as you possibly can up, 
and maybe to the right or something so that you could basically just try to get it away from boredom down there as much as you possibly can. So I would have tried to, if I was going to take it up the wall, I'd probably try to maybe take one hit like this and then use the flip to uh, try to hit it again over him. So that's why this ended up being kind of a sketchy spot here. So because that kickoff ended up getting screwed up, and then we took it over like this, and Fluffy's in kind of a sketchy situation, has to sort of read this. And then I'm also in kind of a weird spot, because I'm like, okay. Because right here I'm thinking about, you know, moving in to the net, because we're going the other way, but because you ended up taking it back the opposite direction, now I have to... Well, I mean, I screwed up, but I would have had to swing around the other way behind Fluffy. But because it was already too late, I kind of just went on the wall and tried to see if I could see what would happen with that 50. But now that it ended up kind of going, you know, softly down, my options are limited because I can't really jump down. I can't really jump down and try to challenge it. I mean, maybe I should have, but I'm not really going to be able to do all that much. But I can't very well wait on the wall either and wait for their shot which is kind of what I ended up doing because you can see here I just ended up falling so I mean I definitely could have played that a lot better defensively probably by just trying to die for it at this point but the problem really was that we just ended up giving them the opportunity and screwing it up so definitely something we, we could have had there and then we have I think probably another kind of attempt at a, a back left kick on well back you know back right I guess in this case but I think this dude potentially was going for the same thing I'm not sure we'll see but uh yeah I mean it, it didn't really go back back right so it ended up kind of stalling in the middle so you can see here this is another one where we're both we're both kind of uh on the we're no no one's fully back we're both kind of on that little side spot so here I'm I'm gonna cheat up every time. Because I, I know that the other guy is probably gonna go for the boost, so I just end up going for a cheat. So you can see what I'm talking about here where I just sort of flip. Sometimes I'll even use a little bit of a boost if I wanna go if I wanna get a little bit forward, but you can see now I flip and then I'm here, but I end up not being able to really read this what's going on. So usually I'll kinda of do this just to sort of see what happens. But then see um, I expected it to go the other way, maybe. So now that it's sort of behind me, I just end up having to swing around and just try to play it defensively this way. So that's what I do, is just defend it across the net. And then I just get another hit to try to beat that guy. And it wasn't the greatest hit because, I mean, it did kind of go straight back in, but I just need to get that hit to get it past him. So this is another good hit right here. If we check this out here, shinu has got time, and he ends up these guys end up just kind of diving for the ball. They're really getting beat hard. So this is a good good setup opportunity. But of course I didn't have any boost here. So I probably should have been able to pick up some more. Probably should have just gone for that boost to be honest. But I was... the reason I think the reason why I didn't is because I figured that this guy was going to be on it. Or actually maybe it wasn't even there. Yeah I don't think it was actually there potentially. Because of that bug. But... Either way, I think maybe I would have thought that guy would have, uh, that's why I jumped and went for the potential wave dash, because I'm going to jump, and then I'm expecting him potentially to challenge, so if he does, then I can use the wave dash to get close and challenge it, but then if he doesn't, I can, you know, I can use it here to just try to get close, try to see what I can do, so unfortunately, I like, if, I don't know if that boost is real or not, but... If that boost is real, I definitely should have tried to get that, and then I would have had, I don't think it is, see... I would have had a lot better opportunity, and now it's a 1v1 situation. But see, right here, I'm in, you know, I'm in a bad spot because it's 1v1. I don't have the boost, and it's just too far away for me to really, like, pop it up or anything. So that's why, like, he recognizes that there's not much I can do other than just hit it. So that's why he just challenges it. All I can really hope for is to try to dunk it, and he's not going to let me do that. But we end up keeping uh, control of it, I think, fairly well here. That's a nice hit. Then right here... Not the greatest challenge. I think um, I would probably just try to go fast, like right here, and just try to go like a little bit to the right because I know he's going to hit it that way. Potentially. And see now, maybe add a boost, not in the greatest position. 
But then I think uh, we it ends up working out because we keep decent possession on it. I think that was a good 50 for me. And then Fluffy, really nice speed. But just barely couldn't quite get it in. That guy over there might have been able to save it if it was in. So who knows. And then it's just really unfortunate because if you look from my perspective, I'm like, okay, pass. Fluffy should be up. He is. Now I'm waiting for this to potentially go in. And then turning. Let's see, then the problem is that I can't really get this. So let's watch. I think also because I'm expecting he might also... I'm kind of thrown off by this guy that he might get the hit. That I ended up going too slow. So that often happens to me where I, I maybe like... I'm a, you know used to at high level assuming that they're always going to hit what they're going for. So that ends up kind of throwing me off. But like if, if he's going to hit this ball anyways, then I shouldn't be going here. So that's why, like, if I'm going to go, I just need to go for the ball, you know? So I think I might have been able to get this in, but I just would have had to ignore that guy and just go up sooner. So I went up a little too slow. Um, so I wasn't quite able to read that fast enough, potentially. So here we are, trying to keep control of this ball. I think this is a good call. Here, trying to pass this, uh, pass this back, but Fluffy's in kind of a weird spot for it. Let's see, we got a good, we got a good, um, pressure there. Keeping this going forward. I think this is a solid opportunity, but you had to wait around too long to see what this guy was going to do, and then that ends up opening up to that guy to, to bump. But, pretty solid here. Right here's an, another instance where, let's see here, I end up getting the hit. So I get the first hit, but I can't get the second hit. So those are the kind of things that uh, you really want to try to do the best you can. It's really tough because I know I have to jump to avoid this guy. So it, it's a tough thing, but you want to really try your hardest to see if you can keep control of it as much as possible. So that way you're not just giving it back over again. And then Shinu can't quite read it. You know, this has the potential to go back in, so I'm trying to position for that. Fluffy's pressuring, which is good here. So that gives us some time. Now, this could potentially be bad, but he ends up whiffing it, so we got a good, uh, good, good possession here. Going for the bump. I think we were doing pretty well with the bump play. You can see that that bump actually did help quite a lot, because now it leaves it open. I think could have shot it directly right there. Um, should have, perhaps. But if we look at how this how this ended up going, uh, you can see we got the bump there, and then I'm, I'm kind of lurking for it, so I'm, like, ready to shoot this. But because Shinu's already kind of on it, I know, like, he's gonna, he's gonna go, so I have to just sort of wait. So I was hoping that Shinu would get that one in, but I was just lurking anyways and wait, and thankfully there was enough time that I could go for the, the rebound. So that worked out pretty well. We got another, I mean, that's another bump play. I think the first one was also a bump play. So we're really getting all our goals off of bump plays, I think. Which you could say is bad, but I think it's a good thing. So then again, this is pretty, pretty good. I mean, they had a decent opportunity, but like that guy's probably, at least from the way that he's going up, he's not going to be able to get that. And so Shinu had a good idea there, going for the challenge. And I realize that I have kind of an opportunity here, but I really could have... Right here, if I had just taken a little bit more time and just gone for a, just a really hard power shot, I might have been able to get that in, but you can see that boredom is is right there. So that's why I, I figured that I didn't have enough time, which is kind of probably why I hit it that way. Because if I had taken just that extra half second or something to try to get that giant power shot, this guy might have been able to be in the way, I'm not sure. I think I should have, though. Because we could have gotten a goal. But I also saw Fluffy there, so I figured maybe if I could just get it out that way. I don't know, but it didn't end up working out for us because that guy, Rad, was on it really fast. So, lost opportunity potentially, but see, we get a nice demo here. So it's open. And I recognize that it's open, but I've already committed to right here. Demo. But see, there's no boost there, and I don't have a ton of boost, so I can't really shoot it from this position. 
So unfortunately, I just have no choice but to just try to get it as fast as I can towards the net, but I end up missing that because I didn't have quite enough boost. So I wanted to try to hit that into the corner, send it inwards, but either way, it wouldn't really have been enough because I wasn't quite in the position to capitalize on that opportunity, unfortunately. And then this was a, the other major miscommunication here, so you can see right here, um, let's watch it from just a little bit farther back. Shinu is swinging in for this, right? And so I'm out here, and I have the option of going back into the net if something bad happens. Or, right here, I can see, like, okay, Shinu should be getting this, like, 10 out of 10 times, right? He should be hitting this, and it's probably going to go to the left a little bit. So I want to swing into the left like this to be ready for this hit instead. So that's why I go here, but then because he whiffs it, Fluffy does kind of the same thing and ends up opening it up. So this was just like one really crucial whiff, and so I think Fluffy here, he also could have rotated a bit more in, like towards the net, but I think also here he kind of did the same thing. So you could say that it really is just a potential error in the fact that we both kind of did the same thing in trying to look for the hit, and then it just ended up not being there. So that com combination of those two things, I guess, is really what uh, ended up making this a rough one for us. So right here, just a bad hit, or well, a whiff really. So that ends up being a really bad opportunity, unfortunately. So then here we get another kickoff. Fluffy doing a wave dash, pushes it out this way, which can be good, but I think in this case they ended up sort of getting the hit, but you know, like neither of us really kept control of it immediately, so it was fine in general. Um, you know, we're trying to keep this pressure up because we need to get a goal here. So I think this is working out fairly well. This is not the greatest spot, so we recognize he's going to get beat here. I think that's Shinu going up. No, it's not Shinu going up. Let's see. So right here, yeah, Shinu should be going up for that. Um, could, I probably would have gone on the wall right here, because Fluffy's going to be down on the ground. So I think potentially the best thing to do... Where are we at? Right here. Probably would be to go... Let's see, we could play this at 50 or something. So potentially it would have been to go up here, and now you would have been at a good opportunity to just go for this challenge right here. Boom. That's what I would have done. And so because of that, if we look right here, instead he ended up staying this way, potentially not recognizing that this was going to play out like this. And so then by this time, like, should have at least gone up, but by this time it's too late now, and then you know, underneath the ball in a really awkward position. And then I think at this point you said that Fluffy, you are expecting Fluffy to go for it, but this is definitely, if we look from his perspective here, uh, like at this point, it's like he could try to go for a really awkward, um, like a really awkward aerial, but like at this point, you can't really see what's going on behind him, and it's going to be over him. So if he goes up for a really awkward aerial, it's going to end up interfering with whoever's on the wall, or should be on the wall. That's why at this point it's just kind of like, alright, he needs to, you know, there's nothing he can do about it. So at this point, you just kind of have to trust that uh, the other person's on the wall going for it. But the other problem too is that he ended up staying, like, directly underneath it too much. So it was just really awkward. And it, because, like, time just kept going on and nobody went for it, he was like, uh, what's going on? So I think the better thing to do here, if we watch the way that he actually went, he sort of drifted that way straight underneath the path of the ball. But I think I probably would have tried to go this way and kind of swing underneath. So that, I mean, it's kind of, I can't really simulate ball cam, but try to like go like this so that you could at least be like over here. Might not have been able to get it with that awkward angle, but at least that way you're not like underneath the ball, right? You're probably like this and you could potentially jump up for it like that or something. Um, so definitely something that, I mean, if you look at it from my perspective, it was a little confusing as to why we let this in, because it's like, uh, okay, nobody's uh, saving that, but yeah, definitely 
I think Shinu should have been on the wall going for this challenge, and then Fluffy could have been curving around instead of going straight underneath. He might have been able to get an angle on it to hit it out, potentially. But definitely something that should have been saved. So then at that point, you know, 4-2, 51 seconds left, we know that we kind of threw this game. Or, you know, we're at least not winning, so... Kind of rough, but um, I think, you know, it's not like we couldn't have won. Definitely had some opportunities to score that we didn't score. We had some good bump plays that we did. And um, just, you know, four goals that were scored on us that we could have potentially done a lot better at defense, coordination-wise. Um, so then right here... Let's, see, let's go back a little bit more. A little bit more as I was talking. Uh, so, let's see. So, there's this. I end up getting kind of a crappy hit, and now I'm a little too high, so if I try to jump down, I won't really be able to get much, and unfortunately, that kind of throws off the rest of my team. So that's kind of my bad. Uh, and then we see Shinu here. Not the greatest hit now, because, again, the first hit, but we don't have the second hit, because now it's kind of passing it back to the other team. So if we watch Fluffy on this, he's waiting for Shinu to do something and then after this point realizes, oh crap, boredom's gonna come for this so I have to just dive. It's not gonna work out. So then that puts me on the back here. So I watch what's going on. I'm thinking Shinu's gonna keep control of this, but he doesn't. Oh no, is Fluffy gonna hit it? No, he can't. So now all right, I'm gonna wait for this rebound and see if Rad shoots it. And he does have an opportunity to shoot that he might have been able to score if he hit it fast enough. But I am confident enough in my saving abilities to be able to read it at that distance and speed. So then right there I recognize that it's not going on. So if we watch this all back in 100%, I'm like, okay, I can read this. And right here I'm like, I'm itching. You know, I got the finger on the trigger ready to go if he shoots it. But I recognize, okay, it's going to be off. So I'll play that all the way out. So I recognize, uh, okay. So it's going to be off, and then I would probably go for that, but Shinu's already on it, which is fine. And so I'm over here, seeing what might happen, potentially trying to go in for this. I don't expect this guy to whiff this. So, I mean, if I go in and aim towards the net, I probably would have been able to score that. But see, I'm positioning more for a 50 instead, because I'm expecting him to hit the ball. Because if I position more for a shot, then it would have been worse for us. But it ends up actually doing okay, because... It's sort of an open net and ends up passing it back out, but Shinu right here ends up right there turning back and turning the other way. So I think right here is another instance where potentially could have hung out a little bit closer. Whereas I think what I would have done right here is I think you went a little left a little early where I probably would have stayed up here a little more, potentially to see maybe where this is going, but then knowing that I'm going to be coming in like that, I would probably try to stay like this way, and then right here, I'd be ready to swing in if necessary, and then when this happens, I would be swinging in, and then boom, you have that opportunity right there to score. So, if you see, if you watch it from here, you can see how you're a little far away now, because, sorry, uh, I'm going to do this in 50%. So if you see you turned a little bit too much to the left at this point. So now you're a little far away if anything ever happens here. Kind of turn in like maybe, but no. So now you go left, and now the farther you go left, the farther away you're going to be. And so now you're going back the other way. So now there is a potential. See right there is an opportunity you could, if you were up here more, you could have swung around. But now you're so far back, and you swung the other way that you're going this way, but the ball's going to be going this direction. So that's why you end up coming coming at it from a bad angle, and that's why we end up being in this position where we're, you know, still kind of up forward, and you were that middle section ended up losing that pressure. So you see how that works? Let's take a look at the fly from, like, here. So it ended up being just a little too far out. We were trying to keep close pressure. See the pressure pressure gap is pretty wide right here. And then, you know, if you had turned this direction instead, could have at least been able to do this. 
boom, hit it like that way. But because right here you ended up turning that way, now you're coming at it. This dude's passing over there. You know, now you're coming at it from the farther side, so you're not going to be able to get there. So, actually, if he, this dude was a little faster, he could have even scored on us again there. So then we see, you know, we're just trying to rush back. Thankfully, you can't quite get much. This is why I'm hoping he won't be able to shoot here, because I won't be able to save it. And then right here, I know it's going to... I'm trying to come up the wall and clear it. I know it's probably going to hit the ceiling. So I try my best to just go fast, but I just fuck it up because I'm bad. Um, and then here we are. Let's see, what is this? I think a little bit of a miscommunication here. Because, like, on this spot, that dude's just going to challenge it, so you got to go fast, probably. I guess he doesn't challenge it, actually. This is not really the greatest potential spot. I think if you're going to... Well, let's see. Let me think about this again. See, right here, it's like, this is not where you want to be because this guy now has the opportunity to, like, challenge. I don't think this boost is real either, by the way, but if it is, I should have grabbed it. Um, I think if you have the time, you can try to slam it, but that's the thing is he's probably going to just end up challenging, I would think. But here he doesn't act. He actually doesn't challenge, which is a little strange. And then because I think you're taking a little too long, Fluffy tries to come in and help because he's not sure if you have it or not. Like, what's going on? And then he just sort of tries to hit that to try to see if he can get it past him, but ends up pinching outwards. And this is kind of sketch. I couldn't quite read it, but Fluffy's around. And then here is also really nice to go off of that, keep that strong pressure, because that would have been really bad. And, uh, let's see, off of this. We get a nice 50 that ends up going to me. I just, because there's no time left, I just try whatever, just try to shoot it. Bad shot, you know. Not much is going to happen here. And that's the end of the game. So, I mean, I think overall it really wasn't that bad of a game, to be honest. Um, we did fairly well, I guess. I mean, we didn't really rotate all that efficiently. We weren't doing so well this game. But the main thing was that we just made, like, crucial mistakes. And... We didn't capitalize on a few opportunities, you know? So it really wasn't like we just completely played like garbage. Um, so I think, you know, it makes sense that we were able to come back. If we maybe got that speed back in, we could come back in the other games, and that's exactly what we did. So I think there's definitely a few things to look at, a few things to think about and work on. But overall, fairly good. I think we just, you know, need to be mindful of that quick pressure. Uh, quick challenges, all that kind of stuff. Just being close together and getting good hits and just practicing more together. But I think overall, we did pretty well. I mean, Shinu especially, I mean, a couple areas where he could have I've done better, made a few mistakes, things like that, not being quick enough. But, I mean, against a pretty decently high team and being able to do a lot better, I think, than before. The last time we were looking at replay analyses, there were a lot more of those scenarios, and I think this time there were just only a few, but they were just very crucial ones, which is unfortunate. But, you know, quick learner, I think, Shinu is, and Fluffy's a bit underrated even as a champ three. I mean, very solid teammate all, all around. I think we did pretty well, so good stuff.